Hmm. What is it? It seems like our little Johnny here has some hidden records from the old days. Hidden records? Hidden medical records, to be exact. Apparently, during his youth, he was administered a large dose of enhanced beta blockers. And what luck? They tend to have this little side effect on a curious thing called memories. Beta blockers. Johnny didn't have a heart condition, did he? Apparently not. Which leads one to wonder if the side effects were intended to be merely just that to begin with. And in such a large amount, its impact on his memories at the time of the administration would have been significant. You think that's what kept us out of his earliest memories? Well, it's not the machine, I'll tell you that. The maintenance department yelled at me for scolding them. So what now? I was just given the right configuration for... I was just given the reconfiguration frequencies. That should get us past the blockers. And once we're in his childhood, it might finally be enough to transfer his desire for it to work. Then what are we waiting for? Just one thing. Of course, there's always just that one thing. In order to activate the new frequencies, we'll need a trigger. A trigger? Something that exists strongly. In the, bridging in, the, in, the, in the bridging inaccessible memory. And we'll need to give it to John for him to stimulate his memory internally. But what do we know of that? We've only gotten a glimpse of his childhood memories. And even if we've tried to childhood photo or something, John's unconscious. Yeah, back to square one. You know, this job hasn't been such a pain in the arse for me since Nora's case last year. Likewise. This is killing me. I'm going to get out to get some fresh air. Ahem. Forgot my coffee. Hmm. So we need to find something that'll stir his memory. It smells! Quit barging in and out of doors. The roadkill, Eva! It smells! I know, it's your fault for running over it. What's going on? The children are still sleeping. She's never had the same voice. Wait a minute. That last memory, the one we were stuck at! It was the same smell! That's a motorcycle outside. They do that. What are you two talking about? The old factory scepters are directly linked to the brain's limbic system, Lily. Don't you see what this means? I'm... It, what? It means that smell is arguably the most effective sense for memory recall. We can use it as a stimulant to bridge his childhood memories. And the best part? Even though Johnny's unconscious, he's still susceptible. I think I'm missing something vital contextual info on this whole thing. Alright, this is good. This is awesome. Now, you just need to go fetch that piece of roadkill. Yes, I'll just... Wait, why should I fetch it? You're the one who ran over it. Exactly. I've already done my part. Oh, you miserable bastard. Um, if it helps any... I have a pair of gloves you can borrow. Yay, roadkill. They really aren't disposable gloves, but that'll probably change after this. Now let's go, let's go get roadkill. Roadkill time! Time to pick up some roadkill off the road, cause we killed it. And then bring it back and shove it in a dead guy's face so he can smell it. So we can possibly make him think he's not who he is, cause that's what our job is to do. Is making him think that he did something with his life. Huh, deja vu. Even though he's really just an old man laying in a bed. Why did the old man live so far away? His house is on like a freaking mountain. Let's go get the dead squirrel and pick it up, yay. kind of thing this job gets me into. It's 
not safe just to bring a germ-infected roadkill like this. There's a valve container in the car. It'll at least make the odor controllable. Are you going? I... I gotta go take a leak. There's a bathroom, like, right over here. Like, yeah, bathroom. Why are you, pee you gonna pee off the mountain? What a mess. The crash shook everything up. Let's see. Ah, here it is. Received valve container. Now to get some of that dirty roadkill. Is Neil gonna have like a change of heart and run down and be like, no, let me do it. Ugh. Received contain roadkill order. I guess not. What fell out? That totally fell out. Pick it up. This Painkillers? Oh. Neil's all upset because I'm gonna find his painkillers because he's addicted to that painkiller, yo. Hmm, he's got that oxy addiction. Of the cotton variety? Ibuprofen. Hey, Neil. Oh, hey. Did you get the roadkill? It's ready. Great! Go get it set up. I'll be right back. Neil. These painkillers, I think they're yours. Hey! May I ask why you're on them? I wasn't going to tell you, but... Oh, this is embarrassing. A few days ago, I walked into a concrete wall. You just walked into a wall like that. What can I say? I was in deep thought. You know how deeply I think. These are some rather strong pills, Neil. Yeah, he makes it. I'm just, I'm streaming live to a million people. And by a million, I mean like one. Oh, okay. I think it's me. <laughs> hey, Taylor. Hello, Taylor. That's so nice of him. Madison thinks you're neat. <sighs> Listen to Madison think I'm neat. I want to watch this stream all the time now. Watch it. I'm actually okay. We had Wendy's not too long ago. Yeah. Thank you, though. Yep. I'll just be over here doing voice acting and shit. It was a rather strong concrete wall. <laughs> was a match made in heaven, I say. Anyways, you got the roadkill, right? <laughs> Just some, how out of context this all sounds. Let's hurry, John's dying back there. Neil. You aren't addicted, are you? Are you kidding me? I'd overdose before I'd sink to that level of contrived mess. 